You're watching Quick Twitch Plus. Hello everybody, this is Ryan from Quick Twitch Plus and today's After Effects tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to create and use the motion tracking tool within After Effects. Uh, essentially what we're going to be doing is we're going to motion track an object and then we're going to use text and transition that into the uh, object while it's motion, uh, motion tracking so you get a really nice uh, cool effect. Um, the example you saw in the beginning of the video is what we're going to be making and uh, the clip came from MKBHD's channel so his channel will be in the description uh, definitely go check him out um, but anyways let's jump into After Effects and what we're going to do is we're just going to grab our video file of what we want so uh, we're just going to put this as a motion there we go open it wait for it to import and then we're just going to drag it down onto our timeline so as you can see we just have uh, a simple uh, the camera zooms in to on the product and then it kind of levels itself out so it's a really easy effect not too much uh, movement but it's uh, good enough to get the point across and it's actually uh, the final effect is really nice um, so what we want to do is we're actually going to change the uh, rendering uh, or the RAM preview to quarter just so we can quickly go through our RAM preview so we don't have to waste memory or space um, so the first thing that we want to do is we want to go down here to our timeline and we're going to right click and we're going to go to new and we're going to hit null object uh, we'll just keep it as null object one and what we want to do next is obviously right now I'm um, on the After Effects standard layout as you can see here um, now we're going to be needing the tracker uh, dialog box to track our object so to get that we want to go up here to window and we want to go down here to tracker uh, now mine popped up down here but sometimes it pops up in the dialog box depending on where it is so I'm just going to pull this out by hitting unlock panel and it brings it up in its own separate dialog box so we're just going to drag this right here and uh, what we want to do is we want to have our main uh, video composite selected and we want to go down here to track motion once we do that I'll open it up in a second tab window and what you want to do is we want to zoom in on our track point and this is essentially this area here is where it's going to be track, uh, tracking and focusing on but we don't want it here we want it in an area uh, where there's a high contrast point between white and darks um, so preferably maybe this corner here where there's a white uh, box here and the black background so what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in and we're just going to drag oh my mistake we're going to zoom in and drag this up hold H so we can move our, comp our video composite and uh, just move it around to where we want so right about there where the black meets the white which is uh, pretty good so once we do that we want to go down here to uh, our tracker and hit edit target and make sure that our layer is selected as null object one hit ok and what we want to do now is we're just going to play it through and as we can see uh, it tracks it very nicely and it's right now at this current moment it's adding a ton of keyframes to uh, each um, frame of the uh, scene. So as you can see, we have a nice, uh, smooth, uh, <coughs> excuse me, uh, track here. So if we zoom out, as you can see, it's just a cluttered mess right now. Uh, but what we want to do now is we want to go here to apply, apply the dimensions to X and Y, hit OK. And once we do that, you can see that our null object is now up here next to our uh, tracking beacon. So it has that corner of the box right there so once we have that we'll just uh, pull this down over here because we're not going to need it anymore drag up our timeline here so we can see a little bit more as you can see we have a ton of keyframes here but we're not really focused on our um, main composite uh, keyframes we're more focused on the null object keyframes essentially because that's where we want it to track so we'll open up it go to transform as you can see we have all these here so we'll just have we'll have our keyframes selected we're going to right click on them, go to Keyframe Assistant, and Easy Ease. Essentially what that's going to do is that's just going to make it a lot easier for our text transition and it just makes uh, a nice transition for everything. So using Easy Ease is a very good way to uh, have smooth transitions into things and it's a very uh, helpful tool. Um, so what we want to do now is, as we can see, we'll just play this out. Let me get this out of the way. Hit Play or RAM Preview and obviously you can't see it now but it there's some uh, little dots there that you can't really see 
Uh, but anyways, what we want to do now is we're going to add our text. So we're just going to drag this down. We're actually going to close our tracker because that's really no need of us uh, to us anymore. What we want to do now is we want to go up here to Layer, New, Text, or you can hit the text icon or hit or hit uh, T to grab bring up your text tool. So we're just going to type in Samsung G2, and there we go. And we're just going to change the top one to a lighter uh, header. And actually, no, we're going to change that to regular. I'm using the font Lato. Um, so that's a free web font that you can download. Um, so yeah. What we want to do now is we're just going to position where we want our text to be. Um, right about there looks pretty good. And we're going to open up our uh, text layer. And we want to go to transform. And we're just going to drag this up. Uh, so at the begin, we want to go to the beginning of our video here. We're going to change the opacity of our text to zero and keyframe it. What we want to do now is we're just going to open that up and we're going to go to right about, hmm, let's see, hold on, we're going to go to right about four, s no, we're going to go about three seconds, change the opacity to 100%, or actually no, not true, <laughs> we're going to change that to 80%, there we go. As you can see, it's going to have some of the background showing, which makes it uh, kind of a nice effect there. We're just going to highlight both of these and we're just going to add easy ease to it. So keyframe assistant and easy ease. And there you go. So next what we want to do is we're actually going to trend um, we're going to uh, have it uh, zoom in just like in the uh, beginning of the video. So we'll do that. We're just going to go back to the beginning and we're going to go to our position and just drag it till it's out of our scene and out of the way. So right about there is good. We'll keyframe it and we'll go right before uh, the opacity goes to 100. We'll put in between two, uh, two and three seconds, so 2.5, and we're just going to drag this in right about there. That looks pretty good. And keyframe it, and we're also going to add easy ease, which makes it really nice. So if we were to just play it now, um, as you can see, it, it's not really tracking anything. It just looks sloppy. Nothing's really, you know, doesn't look too nice. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and add motion blur to this to add more of an effect. Um, so we're going to hit motion blur on our text here, but if we were to play it again, it actually doesn't enable the motion blur. So to enable it, you have to make sure it's enabled. It. Uh, the motion blur is enabled on the whole timeline. So we'll click the motion blur icon right there. So now if we play it, you can see, well, we actually need to cut this down a little bit because it's not really getting much of a motion blur. So we'll select our end keyframe and bring that down in between one and two seconds and bring our, our opacity to right about there. So let's play that again. There you go, it looks pretty good. Uh, actually no, a little bit more would do it. Let's trim it out. But you know, it's all up to preference. Yeah, it looks good, right about there. Maybe bring our opacity in a little bit more. That looks pretty good. All right, so now what we wanna do is we actually wanna uh, bring our text onto our null object or our tracking object. Now to do that, all we have to do is we have to uh, just let's close everything and go over here to the swirl uh, thing right here and we're going to click and we're going to drag down to our null object which will apply everything, apply our text to our keyframe or to um, our motion tracker. So if we had a RAM preview it now, as you can see, it tracks it very nicely. It zooms in and tracks. So um, yeah. That's pretty much the end of this tutorial. Um, it was this tutorial is a really great tutorial for um, obviously product reviews or pretty much anything. It's uh, really cool. But anyways, if you guys need any help, leave a comment in the description. I mean, not a comment in the description. Uh, leave a comment in the comment section, um, or you can email us at quicktootsplus at gmail.com. Or sorry, my mistake. That's quicktoots. Uh, I'll have a I'll have an email in the description. Um, follow us on Twitter at underscore quick toots plus and if you like the video please drop a like um, share it with your friends and uh, have a nice day